every minute that the learner in the virtual space is not talking about himself or is not focused on him, his eyes are onto something else, right? Could be his WhatsApp, his social media, his emails could be on. A lot of the unlearning needs to start. And that's the first thing that I wanted to just leave with you, right? So um, we all have to have the beginner's mind again. The use of the technology, you have to be comfortable with it. Uh, last three, four years, in terms of delivering that part of learning that it could be 100% virtual and without the loss in the experience. And it has to be a combination of your learning pedagogy as well as the right technology to actually support that learning pedagogy. Uh, SSG uh, introduced the adult education and training transformation narrative up to the level of utilization of that skill that lead to that tangible business outcome. What kind of a mindset we need to have, um, in, even in the whole process of us moving into learning new technologies and getting comfortable with it. is a systemic view of introducing blended learning. Um, so in this time, it, it was a really big adjustment, I think, for for us as trainers and instructors and the students as well, engagement and communication, right? Especially for adult learners. But it doesn't go as planned, right? And we have to be um, quite adaptable and flexible as well. This is a really unprecedented time for all of us. I'm sure a lot of you will have questions about how do we track engagement? How do we retain attention? Especially when the videos are not on feel like you know that that, that we that they are not alone in this one of the biggest takeaway i've taken from Eileen's sharing is to be learner-centric we do not want learners to just be passively listening to us 